hate the homies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of I Hate the Homies podcast. Episode number 97. Rock Teasy is who I be. Hey, what's cracking, y'all? It's your boy Griff, a.k.a. Mr. Go Blue, a.k.a. Jason the Jet Terry, a.k.a. Raider Nation, uh, 97. I looked at the, the images and the people. Cornelius Bennett, okay. Simeon Rice, okay. and Brian Young. And okay. I hate the hummies. Yes, Mr. Matchbox shirt guy wearing today. That, no, that no, no. Pop. It's a, it's the Marvel. You can't see? Hold on. Oh, it look like Matchbox cars. Okay, oh, yeah, I like go. that. That's dope. That's dope. All right. Let me let me retract then. <laughs> Are we joning? Take your hat off real quick and let everybody see the shine. Look at <laughs> it's the light beam. It's the light beaming off my head. He looked like all swimmers' <laughs> testicles. That's what he looked like right now. <laughs> you got a Olympian balls head. <laughs> no, what, did, no, what did you say earlier? You said somebody a lollipop, somebody licking a lollipop. A licked lollipop. He all wet and juicy. Hey, Gary with the rock tea. Oh, man. <laughs> Gary with the rock tea. Super Dave. <laughs> oh, dog. No. Oh. <laughs> this your boy, Super oh. Dave. But guess what, dog? <laughs> <laughs> we don't we care. Don't, we yeah. don't care. Uh, good ones there, girl. I'm gonna give you that one. Good ones, dog. Appreciate you. Uh, I'm here all week. We gonna get. Let's get into this NBA draft uh, recap real fast. Then we, of course, we gonna talk about the greatest roast of all time, Tom Brady roast. The gross. Yeah. Tell y'all something, dog. That dog on roast is is going is gonna go down as. I can't remember one funnier than that now. It like, wasn't. that's the bottom line. Like, I can't. The way, Well, we'll talk about it when yeah, we we'll talk about it, what else we. <laughs> uh, the NFL draft happened, of course. So, we got a couple things we want to say about that. Yeah. And uh, let's, let's get it popping, man. A lot of good things happen in the world of sports and it's centered around everything that we just mentioned. I Hate the Homies podcast episode number 97 starts right now. Ah, I hate the homies. All right. So, um, Let's start with the NBA playoffs. Like that grown man. Hey, hold man, on, Ant- Rock, Rock. Before you get into the, to Ant, to Ant, I know you. I already know you were talking about Ant Man. I oh, already yeah, know. Ant-Man. I know where you want to go. But let's get it. What happened in last week? Because last week was a big, a major problem in the NBA, and we see this a lot. With we saw it with Milwaukee, and now we're seeing with the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers oh, lose their series. Yeah, they lose their series to the Denver Nuggets. What was it, 11 straight games before they won a game in that series? 11 straight losses to the Denver Nuggets, and they finally won one, but ended the series, what, four games to one. But It looked like that whole spirit sounded like this. That's pretty much and, what it was, dog. And, yeah. the worst, and the worst part about it was LeBron James, oh, LeBron James and Anthony Davis, they put up numbers in that series. They did. They, they couldn't get over the hump of beating the Nuggets. You go to the playoffs two years in a row, right? Two years in a row. As it goes, the Western Conference Finals last season, Mm -hmm. playing these same Nuggets. You get them in the first round this year, but then uh, was it on Friday? Darvin Ham loses his job with the Los Angeles Lakers. That man get fired, and they go back to back playoffs. That's so ununderstandable. But like uh, me and Dave was talking about it before we came on. You can win and lose now. Remember the dude in Milwaukee got fired, and he did nothing wrong. He was he was in second place when he got fired. The team, but yeah. <laughs> but y'all know where the problem came. It was in I think it was game two when the Lakers blew a twenty point lead, a twenty point oh. lead, and at the end of the game, who did Anthony Davis blame it on? He didn't say Darvin Ham's name, but he said, "What well, he said something about them not playing, uh, not knowing what to do on the court." Oh, he blamed man. it on the coach. On a, once, once you do that, that was the kiss of death for Darby. And you know, Jenny Buss is about the players of the Lakers. She not her father. The whole league. So. That's the problem with the league. They're about the players. The players are in control. They ain't the coaches. It ain't the GMs. It's the players. The so let me players. say this. Let me say this, man. And I've never been in the locker room. I don't know LeBron James personally like that. but. 
his entire career, there's been stories of how tough it is to play with LeBron James as a teammate and as a coach. Yeah. Remember when he got to Miami, Spolster, I was gonna say I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, Spolster Miami almost coach. didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, and then they finally won the championship. Then you know that got his little extension. Then they won another one. You know, so mm -hmm. now he's good and he's he's proven to be a great coach because look what he's been able to do even post Future Hall of Fame LeBron. Coach. Absolutely. Yeah. But man, even during timeouts, just watching on television. LeBron and AD and some of the other players, they really ain't really locked in to Darvin Ham. Like, they ain't the listening and they watching. They like, let's, let's finish this commercial so we you can go out, out and agree. There. You see the clip where LeBron is asking, give me the board. I got it. Give me the board. Give me the board. You know, the board where the coach draws yeah. up the plays and stuff. And he like, man, I got it. So when it gets to that point, it's like, oh, man, it, it's over. Like, yeah. So there's a, there's a such thing when you're the coach, even if you don't agree with everything that the coach is saying, as an athlete, you still got to respect that coach because he's the you coach. Got to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the greatest of or all time, all Michael bad. Jordan. Or it's all bad. <laughs> you know, so I don't know, man. It's it's I it's it's not it's no, I understand what you're saying. And for for everybody to say that Darvin Ham did a poor job over the last two years, no, that's not true. It's not, not, true. not true at all. It's and not that's true. cold, and that's cold to blame. <laughs> it's cold to blame, <laughs> to blame, blame that blame whole it. thing I'm on putting, that man. I'm putting on a person that says he's the GOAT. You got to be accountable for what you do on the court. LeBron wasn't perfect in that series against the Denver Nuggets. He was also missing. He also turned the ball over a lot in the fourth, in the fourth. Not in the first and second period, the fourth period. He made plenty of mistakes. Sometime Anthony Davis didn't show up in the fourth period. Those are the guys on the court. Darvin Ham, Darvin Ham can only do so much. You got to be accountable if you're the superstar. He's the GOAT. He wants to be the GOAT. When you look at Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, I think they, was, they showed some clips um, on Instagram, old clips of, of Michael Jordan and Kobe taking account accountability after a game. Always. Always. I, I, I'm trying to remember, and we old, so we can't remember everything from back yeah. then. A lot of stuff they didn't even televise. But I don't remember Michael Jordan ever saying, Phil drew up a no. horrible no. <laughs> no. a horrible no. offense, and that's what we get. No, he always you. said things like, I got to be better. I got to yeah, be that, better. That's better defense. All of Kobe okay. and Michael Jordan said that. We've never heard that from LeBron. He's always pointing the finger. Even after that, you're going to want to go back to the championship series against the Dallas Mavericks. It was always an excuse. When he liked the questions people were asking after the after they lost to the Mavericks, and he said, Well, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go on vacation. Y'all got y'all have to go back to y'all miserable life. That's your way out. Y'all remember that? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I okay, just remembered. That's a sorry <laughs> but he did, telling he did I mean, say your miserable lives, though. Yes. I remember that part. <laughs> I, but he was, talk, he was talking. He was talking. I think he was talking to a few specific, uh, specific media people matter, Rob, that's been coming at him for years. Place. That ain't the place. You just lost the series <laughs> to the Dallas Mavericks, just like you lost the series to the Denver Nuggets. Quit making excuses. You didn't do enough. You want well, to be the goat. You want to be the goat. Prove it. My well, let's, proved it. Let's transition from the goat to this new young buck. And who's going to be the goat? Like, let me tell let, you. Let me tell you who not scared of the Nuggets. These Minnesota Timberwolves, I don't think I've seen them be this fun to watch since Kevin Garnett and Stephon Marbury was over there. Like, I, who would have thought that the Minnesota Timberwolves, I mean, you know, Cap been holding it down. Uh, Anthony Towns been holding it down for the last five, six years. But this boy, this little boy from the University of Georgia who went to Mays High School uh, here in Atlanta, Georgia, he has always been a problem. I, my son, Julian, knows him well and went to the gym. And, like, he always been jumping out the gym, he said. But he is letting it be known. Like, Denver, y'all lost two games at the crib. At the crib. At the crib. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's bro. not like I can't see. I mean, I never ain't going to get swept, but I can't see this nice momentum Minnesota got just ending on Friday when they play in Minnesota. Like, uh, man, man, 
It ain't going to end because you got Anthony Edwards on your doggone team. So 22 years old, he's doing all this at the young age of 22. He's a child. This dude is top three in the league, like right now. He's the number yeah. one player complete on both sides of the court, offensive yeah. and defensive, in my opinion. Anthony Edwards, man, we could talk about, you know, it's still early, but the way this dude is playing right now, he's a big problem, and he's going to be a problem in the league. He's going to be the one of the faces of this organ in this league for a long time, and I really believe that they're going to chop down this doggone championship team with the Denver Nuggets and win this series. Anthony Edwards is playing on a whole nother level right now, and can't nobody do nothing about it. But he's I the totally only don't. one. He's the only one that can stop him. Now, one thing that I, one problem that I have with Anthony. And I wish if he was standing here right now, I would tell him this. Quit crying. Quit pouting about five. That's that's the youth. That's the youth in him now. No, nah, because LeBron does the same thing and he ain't youth no more. Like, stop crying. <laughs> like, you got to – for, for a player to be as good as you are, Anthony Edwards, and you cold, you one of the best out there. Stop. Don't start the habit of crying. If the, if the referee called a foul, go to the free throw line, knock him down. Cool. If he don't call a foul, get your butt up and run down to the other court and get ready to play defense. Don't be one of those players that's always got your hands out, always like looking up, always looking for a call, man. Because that right there shows signs that mental you break down mentally if you let that get in your head too mental much. Mental so, weaknesses, and then that's what the other team can concentrate on. Oh, he's yeah. gonna act a monkey if you uh foul him good. Yeah. Other than that, the dude's game is 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 he can flawless. only get better, dog. Come on, he can he can only he can some some OG gonna tell him don't worry about the refs, keep it moving. And he going to. He's a. I told you guys this last year. Remember when everybody was talking about low management? You remember that? Because this is the year before. And I told you one guy spoke out and spoke up. And that was Anthony Edwards. And he was younger then. And he was talking about people paying their hard earned money to come see them play. And we should be on the basketball court. I remember. Nobody listened during that time. This is the same player. It was like, sir, you ain't even been in the league. <laughs> yeah. Look Don't. at him now. And he, yeah. has the, he has the one thing, and I'm not comparing him to, to Jordan or even to Kobe right now, but he has that one thing that both of those guys have, the killer instinct. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a murderer out there, dog. He, he, he could be – you know how we wanted um, the kid in, uh, in Memphis? Oh, uh, job, job, job Moran. John Moran. Everybody, the NBA wanted thought he was the next superstar. They did. They oh, did. Yeah. I think he'll be a part of the mix, but I think your next superstar, superstar, not a star, superstar, is going to be Anthony Edwards. No, you're oh yes, but John ja Morant too. If he can just you know stay healthy and keep the line, Dave, just said, Dave oh, said he's gonna be in the group with the oh, with them just, the next batch. No, I yeah, think now let me batch. correct it. Let me let me let me make sure I got a clarity. So you saying John ja Morant is gonna be a superstar or just a star? It's a difference. It's a no, Dave said, is saying it's going to be a new batch of superstars that come out. And it right. started with Ja Moran, you know, the youngin' in Oklahoma. Right. Uh, your boy in Minnesota. Like, it's a new batch. Like, but, NBA, but the NBA wanted him to be that star. Oh, they wanted Ja to be it two years yeah, ago. Yeah. He, <laughs> he, has let failed so far. he has failed so far. That's why I'm not. Not, not on the yet. court. Off the court, he has but an that, issue. It matters because you got to be on the court, right? He ain't playing yeah. games. Okay. No, but no, no, but when he's when he's when he's on the court, he is that player. He a he's problem. Player, but Rock, he's not on the court like well, we he's see. injured now. But I'm saying, but Anthony Edwards is on the court. Right. I want a guy who I can rely on, who's dependable. And that's what we're seeing right now. I'm not saying he won't be down the line, but right now, my superstar in that next batch, right now. It's uh, Shea Gildress Alexander. That's what I'm talking Oklahoma about. State. Your boy from Oklahoma. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. but, and this guy right here, Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is on a different level because he has the one thing that these other guys don't have, that killer instinct. I ain't trying to be he your plays. Friend. He plays like he played in the 80s for some That's reason. I, mean. I just yes. – he just – he's very – Houston Rockets, uh, 1987. Like, he's, a he, he, he's, he's different. A dog. Yeah, he's different. I don't think I'm he's there yet. I don't think he's there where, where Michael Jordan and, and Kobe was because Kobe and Mike, they, they didn't talk to you on the court. You, yeah. were the, you were the bad guy on the court. They were trying to kill you. There well, we go. Hold on now. Hold on. When Anthony Edwards talk on the court, he try he talking smack. Because remember, he got he got some other stuff. We just talking. Well, he got a flagrant 
for just looking at a dude for slamming on him, <laughs> and he was that like, softness, man, come on. Yeah, but he's he's very intelligent. His basketball IQ is 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 amazing because, to your point, they you know they show clips of him talking to his teammates. Now he's still twenty two, and he's talking yeah. to veterans <laughs> like yeah. yo. That's Talk why you missed that shot. This is why yeah. you did this. This is why you did that because you got like he, he understands the game like at a, from a whole nother. I like his level. intelligence. I yeah. like I like their team. Their team was built to beat when they put when they bought. Who was that? The trade they made last year. We all laugh. All the picks they gave up. Uh, they gave Ooh. away Wiggins, and we was like, they ain't never gonna be nothing without Wiggins. They, they, Wiggins, Wiggins. All, they gave all those picks away to get Rudy Gobert. But yeah, Rudy. But he's a hell of a defensive player. But you're building a team to beat who? The champions. You got to beat the yeah. West. Yeah. Which is the Denver Nuggets. The Denver and Nuggets are a big team. Now the Minnesota Timberwolves are even bigger. Oh man, and let me tell you something. And it's gonna be fun. I tell you what, game three going to say it all. <laughs> I mean, they are the champs. They, they ain't going to get swept. They They're not, get swept. No, not saying but, that at all. I'm just saying game three going to say it all between these. Uh, well, they got to win, win game three. It's a absolutely. Must win. Minnesota it's a must win. last night was a statement game. Them boys got the 80 points. We used so, to seeing them get 80 in the third. And now Speaking of statement. The dog on New York Knicks making a statement. Jalen Brunson oh, I knew you were going going straight I knew you were 40 point there. game. No, no, no. This boy that made 200 plus points in the last five games, and they acting like uh the Knicks ain't sweet, dog. But do they have enough? So they got him, they got the big youngin at center, and then who is the third person for the Knicks? Rock. You got Hart and you got um Hell, yeah, Hart, they Hart's, Hart, Hart's playing that role, but they, uh, okay. they, they all won a championship together with Villanova. Yeah, that was yeah. Wow. yeah, I don't think they have enough to get to the championship. No. Um, even though Boston lost uh Porzingis, you know, no. I still think Boston is stronger than the, than the Knicks. But but Jalen Brunson, man, come on, dog, he's he's one of that he's one of that core of people you're talking about, the young gunners. Yes, that's uh that's gonna be the faces of the of the NBA for so long. Uh, he their offense fourth quarter. Is Jaden time? Yeah, you know, it's kind of like Dame time. Is Jaden like here you go, here the ball go? He he he'll dribble the clock down and go take the shot. Especially if the if the game is close, he's taking. And I love it. He he they that his teammates know he's gonna take most of the shots in the fourth quarter, especially if the game is close. He has say, such a pretty shot too. Like the dude. <laughs> I want to say I want to say the Mavericks messed up by not paying this guy when they had a chance to pay him. And he, he, but he, he wanted to play with his father anyway. Yeah, he, he wanted to leave anyways. He wanted, yeah, to, leave he anyways. wanted to leave anyway. But the Mavericks are not shabby either right now. With and I, I was down on Kyrie. I really was because of all the off the court stuff. Kyrie stepped it up, dog. He shut court, up. He started he playing basketball. Off. And oh, this <laughs> Oklahoma Dallas is going to be fun because to me they kind of the same team. They kind of the. the Oklahoma is special because they got one person, but Dallas got two. No, Oklahoma Dallas got more than one person. No, I'm saying, but Dallas yeah. got a proper Luca and Kyrie. Um, I, I mean, uh, Oklahoma almost got the the boy that played for them almost was the rookie of the year too. They gave yeah, it to yeah. Win Benyama, but yeah, they got them a giant yeah. George Mirasan face looking dude. Over. No, he would have he, he, he been the rookie of the year if it wasn't for Victor. Absolutely. You're doing the number. What you what you want to say? Go ahead. Because, no, he was, man, he was know, pointing at you. He was I pointing, was pointing at, at you. Super Day because the yeah. Kyrie situation. Like when Kyrie first came to the Mavericks, I said it. Okay. What was what was Super Day saying? Oh, he's done. He's washed He's up. a he's cancer. Done. He's, he's done. gonna mess up my team. Yeah. No, not my team. I hate the Mavericks. I don't like the Mavericks. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But so, you were saying so, nigga, he gonna mess up Luca. And, and they I'm like, ain't gonna have. And all I was saying was, just let them build a little chemistry because even last year, you know, they didn't they didn't get a lot of time on the court together because no, nah. Kyrie was hurt. Then Luca missed a couple games, so they yep. never really built any chemistry until this year. And now you see what I was saying when he first came to the Mavericks. They're That's having fun. Say, Kyrie's having fun. I never said any question. I had I had no question about his basketball skills. I said he was big show. Box office material. Period. I said that. But his off the court off, kills off him. Off the court stuff. I, I, I'm going by what I saw with the Nets and what I saw in Boston. That's all I could go by. What he's doing now, and he got a new contract with the Mavericks last during the offseason. He's a different player. 
He's not talking as much. He ain't He's saying not. the world is flat. Thank you. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Just play basketball. Just this play is where this, this this is where the sports genius got to pop in once again because I told you that you know what something tells me that this is going to be a different version of Kyrie. He, he's not I, I be do that remember you saying that because we was like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I said all this. I said, man, he's going to learn from his lesson. He's, he's going to play basketball. He understands for the first time of his career or the second time that this is Lucas' team, and he's going to play the Robin to it. Like the other time this happened was when he was with Cleveland with LeBron. Yeah, he learned but, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's all good. So, so thank you, Super Dave. I appreciate you giving me props on that, even though you didn't say I it. Get, I give. I'm giving you props, but also saying I made. I made a mistake. I mean, we do make mistakes, and all, all I was going by is what I what I said it. What I saw with the Boston Celtics and what I saw with the Nets. Time out. Did Super Dave second. just said we can somebody in production <laughs> record this? Yeah. And edit it at exactly twenty one twenty two. Please. <laughs> Super yeah. Dave just admitted he was wrong about something. What? <laughs> I'm not always. I know. I've never said. I, I feel like the, his fake wife should hear this, so <laughs> she, so she could get some apologies as hey, well. Hey y'all. <laughs> y'all go. Y'all go way beyond. I no, never man. Said. Yo, ego never lets you apologize uh, and admit when you wrong. That, man, I am actually tripping. <laughs> But I also I also stated I said this I said I said he was box office in a big show I said that from day one I said if he just played basketball I just right. said I was wrong I didn't think he could do it with the Mavericks he's doing it right now Shout can out, they continue sir. that we'll see but Oklahoma and Dallas that series is gonna be a pretty good series that's gonna be fun I'm not a fan of this Boston Cleveland I think that's gonna be over oh, quick that but be Donovan over quick. Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, <laughs> he went to the land and changed everything to them boys. Them boys was number two in the division or so, or in the whole NBA for a minute. And Cleveland just, you know, they'll always be in the shadow of LeBron James. I understand that. But Cleveland is a city that loves sports. Um, you got the Browns there. You got the, what's their name now? The Warriors or the Showguns? What's the baseball team called now? Oh, you oh, talking they about the, your name? I forgot. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, they were they were the Indians. Now they the dog Guardians. It's, yes, you, Cleveland you know, Guardians. That's so weird to say. <laughs> that's right up there with the Commanders, dog. Yeah, the Cleveland a, parents. So now you got to <laughs> change the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they, the parents? <laughs> I'm calling hey, them that every movies, day. They got to change the movie. Major League. Hey, they were the Cleveland Indians in Major League. Dog, Man. what you dog. gonna do? Cleveland fans go hard, and I'm I'm happy. I, as a fan of sports, I be happy for the Detroit uh, uh, Lions. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy for the Lions fans. I, I was happy for the Bills fans for a minute, but Josh Allen, did. why did they break that team up so good during the offseason? Only one over there is the quarterback. That's it. That's it's I mean, dumb. they had once again. They had a they had a good four year run. Yeah, and not to say that the run is over, but man, you got you got three to four years to figure yeah, it you out. You just stay there long, playing around. This ain't like the old school, man. Where these players they they stay put, man. It's like, man, I got I'm gonna go get my money, and I'm gonna try to join a team that can get over the hump. But, but you, you, uh, know, you know what I want to stop seeing in the NBA? What's that? And I hope that we stop seeing it. The so, kiss cam. No, with the Clippers, we saw this where uh, these guys are. <laughs> These old veterans are building teams together, like with the Clippers, with Kawhi and Paul George and the beard. I was right about that one. He didn't show up in game seven. I mean, game Boy, six. And they really you needed. said he was going to do that. You said that a couple he weeks let, ago. Let you down. <laughs> I think when you saw what you and saw. That was off the, the heels of him having 40 something, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You like, saw the Clippers. You saw the Phoenix Suns who had their big three. It just. I don't see this old these old teams these old guys play with each other anymore. Oh yeah, they the do. Suns went out like they, they, brought, they brought in Beasley. They, they, no in, they got swept. They, they, well. they got swept. Because they you're asking, got, you're asking well, three guys. Where's that dog? <laughs> you're asking three guys to perform, and then with the Clippers, I like Lou. They will they will resign Lou. Will, Lou will be with the Clippers as a head coach. Oh, Deron, Deron Lou. Yeah, yeah, but he got a knucklehead in Kawhi. I know he's a, 
I don't want to tell anybody that they're not injured, but he's injured too much, man. When I need, oh, him. he's a brittle fella to be a superstar in the NBA. He's super duper brittle. He has the new name Street Clothes. It was for Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis played well, almost seventy games this year, so I got to give Street Clothes to Kawhi Leonard this year. Street Clothes. They said they know. said on Bobblehead Night, his Bobblehead had on jeans and a, a <laughs> starter jacket. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, no, Why? he was fully dressed in street San clothes. Diego State, the San Diego State starter jacket. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you who won his street clothes is San Antonio Spurs Victor Wimbenyama voted unanimous NBA Rookie of the Year. We no brainer, that. man. This we dude called that though. Average 21 points, 11 rebounds, four assists, four blocks, and a steal per game. The last person with that stat line was Shaquille O'Neal. He did it in 1999 and 2000 season. That was his MVP season. I see you pulling the, I see you pulling the stats out of your bag of tricks. I Man, let me tell y'all something. Victor, Victor Wimbenyama, Anthony Edwards, Win. and who going to be the third? And John ja, ja Moran, if he can stay ja on the court. Moran, the youngin from OKC, Brunton, yep. and uh, it's, a, it's a forward. It's a it's a nice forward. Like he played a four. Well, Jason Tatum is not. Oh, Jason Tatum is still young. Yeah, Jason Tatum. He's still gonna be the he's face as well. Yeah, they got, then, they got some young guys coming in. Yeah, I, that's why I say it kind of push these. If you if these old guys want to be with these young guys, that's fine. But I don't want to see three old guys with each other. Well, the NBA draft was kind of garbage. Like all oh, them them dudes. If you got in the draft this year, you. He did in the NBA because all them dudes went to college one year, <laughs> yeah. lost, lost, didn't make it to the tournament, and uh, went to the draft. Like that's that's everybody, everybody did. But to put this on, like, just tie us up in a bow. The, the NBA is in good condition over the next six, seven years. I like that. They have behind them right now. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Uh... Let me add to 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 the boat. Let's wait for this applause. <laughs> you got the extended like remix version. <laughs> the never I don't have applause. a softer. I don't have a shorter one, dog. That's that's the whole thing, dog. That's, I guess it should stop right there. Or something. <laughs> that joke went on. So I'm the type of person that and y'all hear me say this all the time about how weak and how whack the softness of the referees in the, in the NBA, even in all yeah. sports, really. But in the playoffs, they letting them play. The refs are letting them play. And you I'm should. liking that. So I'm, I'm going to talk about you when you're, when you're being too soft referees, but you letting them play. And, and right. I love it. So let's keep that up. Let's but keep that, that up. Game, this like is big boy game. basketball. And let's yeah. play old school. If it ain't a, if it's not a guaranteed flagrant foul, you ain't, you shouldn't be calling nothing. Leave them and boys alone. I, think I know we're about to go to the next sport, but I also want to just congratulate you on your daughter graduating oh, from HBCU. Man, that, yeah. uh, that's a big – hold on, here they come. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh, right there. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> uh, no, that's a huge deal as a parent. Um, uh, I watched you. I could, I could see – I could see your happiness – as you watched your wife walk through a field, like you oh, were yeah, just beaming, yeah. you was Bro. just happy, dog. You, it was such a big day for your family. Are you and your ex-wife cool? We are. Um, oh no, but that—that that is, she just chose not to be in, in the lives of uh, lyric and harmony. Oh, right. got it. Okay, understood. Okay, I was so, going to say, how was the but, co-parenting but, but, but in the college? I, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me. She didn't even show up to the graduation. So, oh, that's but that doesn't bother. So oh, when she you wanted when them you ask, females. When, I know yeah, you ain't so gonna you throw nobody question, under the bus, but no, she wanted nah, them. You, it doesn't. It, that's not even relevant. Like I don't even. I don't even talk about that. How about Krista that? Is they mama? I know that's right. Come I like on. that. Come Krista on. Is they mama? Hold period. On, here so, <laughs> so let me talk about. You know what I see when I when Crystal when y'all do your videos and stuff like that, she she points out and she proves that. Those are her daughters. 
Period. Is that a, she is that she a jumped that? into that blending family role, yeah. and you could tell she owns it. Like it's not a well, me and my step kids, and it's like yeah. me and my family. I'm about to go support my family. I'm about to be with my husband and our daughters. Like I always, I listen for that because I had so many step parents, and I always tell people you know like if it's just us, shut up, don't be a jerk, dog. <laughs> I'm trying to say something serious. I had a number of step parents. And I know that as soon as you say, this is my son, Rock, and my other son, Dave, and this is my stepson, Griff, you create an invisible barrier between you and that child that maybe you didn't know. Like, maybe just you ain't know. Like, and I always tell people, just say it's your sons. Yeah, just say it's your let three me, sons. Let me tell you, let me tell you, you don't awesome have to explain Crystal, nothing to nobody. How awesome Crystal is. Like, when she made, when she said her vows to me, when we got married, she had a separate set of vows to Lyric and Harmony I did that too. she said to yeah. them. That's that's and that's OG blended as, family stuff right there. As they mama, right, for yeah. real. But back to Lyric, man, my, our oldest daughter who just graduated Rust College out there in Holly Springs, Mississippi, the first that's it. HBCU in Mississippi, <laughs> man. Her story is so inspiring. And just from where she started, because at once upon a time, man, we didn't know she was going to even graduate high school. Like, oh wow! And we, and we, and we share, and I tell her, man, she needs to share her story. Um, you know, because where she's starting to where she is right now, so proud of her. She's just she's she's grown up into an amazing young lady. And You're about to cry. It's not a story. I can see you getting Rock. sensitive Rock. over there. Some, oh man, she about Rock. to do some it's, great it's stuff. A testimony. It's not absolutely, a story. It's a absolutely. Testimony. But 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 her story, her story is is very inspiring. So. Congratulations to baby girl. Uh, Look, congratulate. I always can say when the kids graduate, that says a lot about somebody's parenting. I'll you take understand? That. that says a lot about a dad being in their life and having a, a father to, 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 because guess what? If your parents are sorry, then you don't care bringing home D's and F's. Come you don't now. care because your parents don't care. But I'll when you got parents, who 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 expects something from you? Who demand excellence out of you? Who, who set a bar for you? That says a lot about uh, your upbringing. So congratulations again, my dude. And this all you get. That's it. Well, hold on, applause. <laughs> so how many times was your mother was your mama married? I'm just asking the question. Come this on, man, Griff. don't do that. Griff, nine, nine. nine. <laughs> this is a question. So, what so how many went through? And I'm asking you what you went through. How many of those guys took you in as like not saying you're a Oh, guy? none. I don't have out of all them out of eight dudes who my mom married, I don't have one thing that one of them human beings told me that I could pass on to another person. Not one. I, I not can't one? say, oh, that remind me of something Earl said, or oh, I remember <laughs> shut up, bro. So when I was when <laughs> I was named Earl, I went all the yeah, names. My the first name. stepfather's name was Earl. Um, I think of where Earl. <laughs> So you got to remember, I was, man, I'm not playing with y'all. You almost sucked me in. <laughs> Here, let's go back on all my step parents. <laughs> oh, man, yo, you can, you, can, you can form a whole new Brady Bunch just with the step dads. <laughs> a ding, 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 ding. Man, we done? Can we talk go. about... Let's go get the other roasted. The roasted. The roasted, the roasted the do we need to do a twenty three and me or ancestry on your stepdads? Because <laughs> they all kind of the same dude. So yeah, my mom had a type. He had a type. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Let's let's uh, let's shift to um, Tom Brady in the greatest roast of all time. We're gonna talk about that next. All right. So see, see Rock. It yeah. was. Things like, as a comedian, first of all, I just watched the Cat Williams the day before, and it was absolutely trash. And the bad part about that is I just expected so much more from Cat because he's on, he's performing two, three times a week in front of 20,000 people. I thought he was going, man, the jokes just wasn't connecting. Then he, oh, man, I was so upset, but I was very I kept waking my wife up. She kept saying, I'm trying to sleep. Like, I was laughing hard laughs, dog, all through. Every comedian they had on there, it's like with comedians, right? So if you go to, if all three of us was on a show, Super Dave went, 
Rock T's next. I'm last. I got to make sure in my head I don't say nothing that Dave said because he went on first because he already – or I would have to say, remember how Dave said dot, dot, dot? Well, I'm – you know, so you make an example, but all those comedians, man, they – woo, Tom yeah. Brady was – he was – it was burning him inside. You know who actually came out and ripped, ripped a couple people. Belichick. I know oh, they wrote man. all this stuff. He was funny, man. Dry they, funny. Just, but hold, hold on. Did you see him doing the draft? He was on with, uh, what's the guy that's on ESPN? The, the kicker. The kicker. Yeah, the kicker. Yeah. He was on with him. He has personality. He has a personality. And we never knew. And, and we, we never, never knew. knew. Man, it was it was it was good. I'm a I'm a I'm a fan of comedy, but I'm I'm a bigger fan when it's done right. And then it was long, right? Like it was three hours proper. That was a, that was a problem but for me. It I was, was like, a good three hours though. Yeah. And I watched that thing head. live, and it was uh, amazing. But Kevin Hart killed it too, man. He came no, out. Kevin Hart song. had to. He came out, bust him in the mouth, uh, threw it to the next person. It was perfect. Like it was all. Kev was on fire, but Kev's also about to get the Mark Twain Award this week, um, also on Netflix. Um, I'm excited about that, man. He deserves it. Um, uh, you Who know, I'm, joke? was a cat that had the joke about the uh, cat ain't have a joke. I mean, mean Kevin. Like that, uh, I'm like, Kevin Hart had the joke about uh, Giselle, is her name? Yeah, yeah, he had well, jokes all about of them. Giselle. And yeah. the plus Kelsey. one. And the plus one with Antonio Bryant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was. <laughs> that was. No, no, let me tell you something, dog. Kev came out and bust him in the mouth. And then was like, and I got these loaded guns, for yeah. example. And then he was like, for example, if you try to say something, I'm going to hit. Ooh. Oh, that's when he went good. at Chelsea Handler. He said, Chelsea Handler in the building. We love Chelsea. And we also know that we were going to sit you next to a black guy, but we know that you love Black D, so we had to yeah. change it. <laughs> and we, <laughs> then he said, speaking of Black D, Kim Kardashian's here. What's Kim up, Kim? Kardashian. Man. They booed her, was, didn't they boo her? Yeah, he was, yeah. He was, he was, he was oh. getting them like that. He was getting them like, I, oh, Drew was hilarious, dog. Uh, the, the quarterback who Tom Brady oh, took Drew his Bledsoe. job. Oh, Bledsoe. yeah. yeah. Drew, oh, Drew Bledsoe. Bledsoe. Yeah. Had some hammers, dog. I was like, look, he was so sweet. So we, it, for comedians, this is our joke. When you when you tell a joke and you got a drink in your hand, you tell a joke and it's funny, mm -hmm. and you drink the drink, right? That's like a, a victory drink. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, uh, yeah. that, look at you up there. Yeah. And then I said this. Drew was drinking his drink, dog. He was killing, drinking his drink. I was like, ooh. It was just getting better and better, man. Shout out to uh, Netflix for putting that whole thing on. But that Cat Williams, and maybe I'm wrong, but I watched 31 minutes of that, and I didn't even smile, I see, dog. I got to go that? see it because I ain't seen it yet. And I can't – I got to see okay. – I can't see it being as bad as you making it sound for the Cat man, Williams. Man, rock. Rock. And I'm a Cat Williams fan, man. Because Cat's funny just talking. like He's funny just he's, talking. He's, but this time – he tried to rely on his just talking, on his voice. Ah, yeah, without having no material. Like, it just wasn't no material. Ask right. Ricky. Did Ricky talk about it? Nah, nah. Okay. I know Ricky ain't. Ricky ain't. Did y'all see, see the one Instagram clip from Eli Manning? He said, I thought about attending a roast for Tom Brady last night. But I, mean, <laughs> but, I didn't want to roast him for the for, for the third time. <laughs> he beat him already yeah. twice. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Eli was he, Peyton came on and and ripped him some too. It was y'all ain't watched the whole thing. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm, I'm going back and watch the whole okay. thing though. Yeah. I'm watching the whole it thing. It was long yeah. though, but I just happened to be woke. Like I was all the way woke. I can watch if it ain't Star Wars or The Dark Knight. It's hard to be up there for three hours. I ain't gonna lie to you. Why are you waving, man? Because I'm you, saying he he, he he said you resemble Yoda. <laughs> Star Wars. Me, Dave Super. <laughs> oh, or, the, or one of the Ewoks. <laughs> the Ewoks. Oh, it, was, it was. May the fourth be with you this past May week. Fourth be with you. It's sweet. I was telling everybody. Where was I at? I was on the cruise. That was our last day. I was saying single day mile. What y'all do for single day mile? Did y'all know the single day mile is not Mexico's independence, right? Right. 
So Mexico's independence is really September 19th, I'm going to say. You could double check, but it's either the 18th or 19th. Cinco de Mayo is the Battle of Puebla. The, the French were murdering the Mexicans in the war. But on May 5th, 1862, the Mexicans won in the village of Puebla. And they they said, we go from what I just said about May 4th. I'm talking about Star Wars. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, about the next day. Oh, you act like day. it's so far away. May fourth, yeah, May fifth. I don't give a damn about the next day. It's May hey, that was fourth. Be with you. Hey, that was Griff just learned that, so he wanted to let everybody know. No, I've smart. been saying that my whole life. I am smart. I ain't gotta tell y'all. <laughs> I'm not gonna go back and forth with Dave. You know, May the fourth be with you. I was telling y'all what I did over the weekend. I just yes, there him did. Home. What else? What else? <laughs> what else? You had your little oatmeal, your little sippy cup. The Empire Strikes Back, my favorite. That is the favorite. Return of the movie. Jedi. And then I kept watching the same ones over and over. I don't care about the new ones. You watch all no, this the first, Disney, the first all this new the stuff the first on four. Disney, dog. They got 1,000. You watch I've The Mandalorian? Watched, I can't get into it. You watch The Mandalorian? Yeah, I watched it, but I just couldn't get into it. Like I, not a, I can't. I, I stopped watching Star Wars after, after the fourth one. So it went, it went Star Wars, uh -huh. Empire Strikes Back was two. Return, yeah, of the Return of the Jedi was three. And then, Who was the fourth one? Don't say the the uh the Phantom the Phantom Menace. Don't say that one. Oh, no, I, I, those, I really don't know. That's Who's the, the ones with the black one? with the black that's, uh uh that's the one. Stormtrooper and all them. Oh, that's uh the Force Awakens. Yeah, it's, so, it, yeah, that it, is the fourth. Yeah, so that's I that, watched that all them with the girl. When the girl was the lead, I yeah. watched those. Those were good, but those can kind of compare to what we grew up on back in the day. Right, the classics. So, yeah, those are my classics. The graphics is beating them. But... Oh, the graphics is beating them, but I, I, have, I, <laughs> yeah. I had my wife and I had my son and, well, like my wife. Yeah, my son, we, wanted you, we wanted you to clear that up, dog. We don't believe. <laughs> we sat there and watched it all day. They spent a whole day with daddy watching May the 4th be with you. That's oh, what. that's why you want. Oh, you had a little day. Oh, little Dave <laughs> with a little day. Shut up, man. Move on. Move on now. So, if y'all didn't know, uh, WNBA preseason is underway, and the season tipped off with Caitlin Clark's Indiana Fever playing right. against the Dallas Wings. I was at the game sitting courtside. You know, wings, were you? Thanks for the ticks, man. It's all good because I wanted to see. Were you? you? Know, it, yeah, absolutely. Oh, how, was, how was the game? How was the game? Was off the chain. Caitlin was yeah, off the chain too. But I've been, y'all gotta remember, I've been watching Caitlin play since she was eight, a seventh, eighth grader. Like I said, these all these girls play with harmony and, and lyrics. So so I wasn't I wasn't shocked because of Caitlin was playing good. She's yeah. always played well on every level right. that she's went to. But it was just kind of cool to see, okay, this is the this is the this is the best ballers. Will she be able to do what she did in college against these grown women? And the answer in that game was yes. She came nice. out like it was nothing. Preseason like game. Remember it's, to say that. Preseason. Yeah, I mean, look. a game is a game. No, it's, it's not. No, you know, Griff, don't do I that. mean, I know, but I'm just saying, for for her, that was a, that was her first game in the WNBA. Like, right. she's not going to say right. my well, – when, when the games really count, when the season officially starts, then we'll know. Well, How she look to you? How she look to you, Rod? No, she's solid, man. It's it's one game. I I I'm going to keep I'm going to continue to say like what I've been saying. I think she's going to average somewhere in between 15 and 19 points a game throughout the season. You know you what I'm saying? Said that. She's going to be in she's going to be in the upper teens and yeah. it's going to be solid. She's going to she's going to have a solid first year. But everybody's complaining because how come they weren't showing Angel Reese in the Chicago Sky and her debut? You know, they didn't make that game available on television or streaming or whatever. Cuz they're black. And and uh, and that's funny that you say Nobody that because say all the black loud, folks, I'll say <laughs> all the black folks are saying that, uh, and everybody else is like, well, maybe because Caitlin Clark is just a better player and she's the number one player pick and she's the face of nah, women's basketball right now. Uh, darkies, <laughs> you, know, you know what? So, <laughs> go ahead, you know what? It, it, it doesn't matter because the, the bottom line was the WNBA dropped the ball, they did, yeah, they did. had a chance. <laughs> They you had did. a chance to put them out there on your all of them at the same somewhere. time equally. All of equally. Them. equally. I don't care if it's preseason, man. Because, because what is yeah. it doing? It's showing it's, it's showing people that people really care about women's basketball. It's giving you a platform, a bigger platform. Absolutely. With, with bigger platform comes what? TV money, 
TV money brings more more, more money to the women out there. And here's but the they dropped the ball because people like me and Dave who don't watch it, like you, who was really kind of like, let's see if we can. If but if you only gonna make me watch one game, it's not enough options. That's it's not enough options. And, I and need we, options. And we're, and we're coming off the high of all uh, these dope of, players coming of out of college, college into the WNBA. Of women's college basketball, women's basketball. right? So keep the hype going, WNBA. Yeah, all can't. the games should be on TV. Like You're right. It should, it should be a no brainer. Like they all dropped, the games. They dropped the damn ball. They, they had a chance. They had a chance to keep bit of momentum from what these girls did or what these women did in college carrying on to the w WNBA where people wasn't watching. But now you get a chance to watch because these people know these people. They've been yep. with them for the last couple of years. I mean, you've been watching for a long time. But like somebody like me and Griff, we've been knowing Caitlin for the last two years. Yeah. Or, or Angel Reese, same thing for what she the did. Last, last two years. Yeah, right, last two. two years. Build on that momentum. And they didn't do it. They well, missed a big opportunity. I do. I will say I did like Angel Reese because she a tall, pretty black girl. I, w I will say that. <laughs> I like that. And, and she and she did. She had a solid first game, man. She had like thirteen okay. points, uh, yeah. like seven, eight and rebounds. And she just whatever. signed with Reebok uh, instead of Nike. Because, because Shaq. where where Shaq and Allen Iverson are the new presidents of the mm -hmm. company. So absolutely. So we knew that was going to happen. But Caitlin just signed a twenty-eight million dollar deal with Nike. Yeah, no, she made the lick lick. She made the lick lick. That girl getting to that bag, boy. So let's let's get ready to wrap up, man. We talk about the NFL. She's gonna draft. need it. Seeing how the WNBA only gonna give her four hundred and forty thousand over four years before Texas. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, dog. It is what it is. All right, so let's wrap up NFL draft. There's probably only about a handful of players that we need to talk about. Dave, let's go real quick. Go over the free agency. So uh, before you go uh, to free agency, name? let's do this. The NFL draft, and you're a Detroit person. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. 275,000 people. First hey, night. Hit that applause. NFL, hit that applause. NFL draft. I was shocked. Not, you know, I'm not shocked because NFL is so big. But I'm yeah. telling you, NFL is making money. And did shout you, out to Detroit. Shout out for the city of Detroit for rolling yeah. out the red carpet and yes. putting on a great show. I had a lot of people that live in Detroit was showing me up close. They was like, look, the Raiders, they was, <clears throat> they was there and they was saying how it was accessible to everybody. If you got there early, if you got, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So um, big shout out to Detroit, but bigger shout out to the commissioner who started taking it on the road. And they said he took it on a road because it was always at the, where was it at rock? The Roxy? The, uh, uh, in, it was, in, it was New always in New York. Yeah, yeah at New the York. whatever that place was. Oh no, it was always in New York, and they told him y'all can't do it. Y'all can't do it until like October because we got some things going on in the, in the place. And he was like, "No, nah, we got to take it on the road." So I just thought that was you. the yeah. commission said, "Thank you. We just got more money, more yep. TV exposure." I'm, they, I'm they talking know about how to do it. you got WNBA, you get three days. You get WNBA, three days. WNBA. Y'all need to go do like a class with the NFL and they'll show you how to make money because they're doing it right now. Yeah. So let's get, let's get to the draft. I don't think we had any big surprises. I mean, only surprise we saw was uh, the Atlanta Falcons taking Michael Penix Jr. <sighs> when they just signed and gave a homeboy guarantee. Uh, so I would like to say money. this. I would like to say this on I Hate the Homies. Grip said it first. There is going to be a 30 for 30 where somebody in the brass of Atlanta Falcons what did a, you know, you take this money and you get this bonus and you give me mine and I take your, and they wasn't black for the first time. Somebody, why they almost gave that white boy 200 million with a broke everything, ununderstandable. You could see the general manager and the president and the owner arguing arguing yeah. when Michael Penix got picked. I and mean, here go the bad part. Michael Penix is a dope quarterback. I thought Michigan was going to lose. I just wasn't saying nothing in the championship because I was there. I was like, yo, first of all, he got two and a half wide receivers that's going to the NFL. That's number one. And he a southpaw with the most yards thrown in all of college and has been like he's a whole problem. I'm happy that he landed 
with Atlanta. That's so big for Atlanta. That's so big for him. He's a talented quarterback, and he deserves it. The controversy behind it, though, the controversy behind it, though. I like the would, move. I, if I'm Atlanta, I'm doing the same thing because Kirk Cousins is coming off But you're doing the Achilles. same thing, but why six weeks ago you just gave somebody a quarter of a billion dollars almost? Now, I wouldn't have done that, but <laughs> Kirk Cousins – is coming off an Achilles injury, and we already know that ruins people's careers most of the time. So most of I'm the not time. Even, I'm not even Unless sure how young. long he's going to last. Unless you young. Kirk Cousins ain't young. I mean, he's what, his early 30s? 32, I think. 32, okay, so in, in football years, that's kind of, you're almost at the end of the road, you know, then Tom Brady is, is, is the exception to the rule. But I'm he's not 35, sure he's going to be at a dog. He's hella old, dog. Come on, He's man. So, hella old. <laughs> I like the move. I would have done the same thing because now here's what can happen. Even if Kirk Cousins survives the entire season, Michael Penix Jr. gets a chance to kind of learn. To up just under sit back and learn an from an OG. Uh, an learn OG. from OG. Yeah. Who's and, solid? And Kirk Cousins won't doing like Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers did. They predecessors. Kirk Cousins is going to really let it. Kirk Cousins knows right now that Michael Penix Jr. is better than him right yeah. now. And, and he but, knows that. So if Kirk, Kirk shouldn't get mad. I'm not sure he is, but there was some. No, they said he was, was mad at first. They said he was. Yeah. They said he, he should didn't be like, get, okay, I'm good. I can help this young guy. You know hey, white boy, quit crying. You got all that money. You got all that guaranteed money from Minnesota and, and from the Atlanta Falcons. You think I'm going to feel sorry for you? 30 for 30. Take Quote that me. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be an episode. <laughs> your no. time is running out anyway. You're 35 years old. So he got the, he got a bag, dog. He got yeah. a he got a golden parachute. That's what he yeah. got. How many and brothers? guess what? For two hundred million, for a hundred million after, I'll actually watch that brother play, and I'll root for him. Kirk Cousins made all that money, guys. And how many playoff wins does he have? One, couple, he, one. Hey no. man, he's one, one of those. He's they one of those Tony Romo. Like, they gave it to him like he was Aaron oh. Rodgers. Though I'm so anyway. Okay, I'm done. He's, one, he's, one, he's one of them Tony Romos. Hey, don't don't ever talk about my quarterback. Don't do the that. The funny part is he great said in the it regular twice because you didn't hear it the first yeah, time. And then he still great in the regular season. One of the no, greatest in the regular season. No, no. We're I'm just saying. Today. And I love no. Tony Romo. <laughs> I, did anybody see the first cornerback taken? He went to Toledo. Philadelphia. He was so mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was Philly. so mad. He, he ain't even – he couldn't even – dog, I watched him from when he left his mama. He gave her a horrible hug. He walked down that hall. He ain't speak to nobody going down them steps. When he put his hat on, he hurried up. and He, he was so mad that it was so funny to me, dog, that he thought he was going to go before all them – I mean, hell, the first defensive player – Went to we're UCLA. Like 14, he went 15. number 16 or something. Yeah, 16, 15, yeah. 16. Yeah. yeah. Look, so, if I'm look, getting drafted, even though if I'm supposed to be higher, I'm just thankful I got an opportunity. Let's go to work. I'm going to prove everybody dog, He was wrong. so mad and ungrateful that he better be awesome. See, it reminded <laughs> me of that quarterback that came out of UCLA, Rosen. Remember him? He thought he was wow. going to be – he should have been the number one quarterback pick. He yeah. He went with Kyle Murray or something. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, kind of, and he was mad. He's like, yeah, and he's just he's he's been a backup in his entire career, right? Yeah, got it. I think he started one year and making money. Yeah, making so, money being a backup. No, oh, you know, you're good. Give I'm me cool. a clipboard. Give me a clipboard and this and give me a hat. I'm fine. Hey, now, I, now I would love to be that black backup laugh. quarterback. The black me backup quarterback for the Oakland Jackson. Raiders. About oh yeah, I would so speak. <laughs> I would love his job, dog. On the night. Raiders. Now yeah. it ain't no the Raiders, we now, Aiden O'Connell did okay as a rookie last year. He was, you know, he stayed in the pocket. He never looked shook. But we need a quarterback. We definitely don't have a running back. We got Devontae Adams, and that's fine. And the Raiders at the at the 11th or 12th pick, pick a tight end again. Last they to year, move they we to move just up. picked a tight end. And we got two stupid tight ends. And even if we, we ain't got a running back, dog. Um, hey, man, nowadays you can get a running back from Home Depot. I know, but get Damn, oh, man, just stay like out that. there with your truck. 
Yeah, dog. Yeah. You start asking your running backs how you many linemen back. you could bring you play, with you. You play running back in high school? Come on. <laughs> not gonna share. I mean, hey, man, I mean, linemen. You, you could get yeah. some line. You could bring a guard and a uh, left. Isn't that crazy <laughs> how the running back position has become what it is now? It, it used to be the quarterback and get a dope running back. Now it's like that man, was you the rule. If you athletic, now they saying get a wide receiver. Yeah, then a quarterback, quarterback. like because quarterback. it's a passing it. game nowadays. Shout out, it's hey, I'm very happy for JJ McCarthy from Michigan uh University because he's special, dog. And I don't think Minnesota had a, a quarterback that good who's gonna he's just gonna get better and better and better and better, man. It was hey, he the best Chris. out of all the quarterbacks? Not at all. Okay, he all right. he was super dude, he wasn't superstar he was a star quarterback he wasn't a superstar he wasn't michael Penix or that you know a, a, a bunch of other he's better than that boy from north carolina well i'll I'm, say I'm that say out loud i'm gonna say this i don't i'm not high on jj mccarthy i've been telling you that all year but i mean this this past year when he won a national championship he didn't he didn't get y'all he didn't he didn't let y'all lose a game he wasn't right. the reason y'all lost the game. Right, but I'm happy before, because now he get the – When he threw two interceptions, two, two picks, six <laughs> in the TCU game, that was the Jason McCarthy I was expecting. Hey, I was wearing all this Michigan stuff on the Fantastic Boys, yeah. and Julia just came up to me and said, never forget about the frogs. That's what never I said. I, agree. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I can't even frogs. say that. She said, but who did he lose to? <laughs> he never lost, but who did he? She kept doing that, dog. I was like, I can't even say nothing. The last loss was the TCU. The TCU Horn Frogs. The who was three of my Frogs. Who was and all Georgia Georgia. fans are still talking crazy. You better be good. You better next time, man. Hey, the, the playoffs going to be hella fun in college. The, the, first of all, the hey. video game come out in July. I can't <laughs> That's wait just number that. one. Well, team, let's oh, go. Hold Real on. Cool. Can I tell both of y'all before we go? I created a, you know, you can create a person on Madden. And so I got two people. I got a quarterback named Monlon Lovell. Uh, uh, he, he he went to Michigan. He played for Seattle. He, I can't get him to be sweet. We already in our third season. But then I got a <laughs> running back named Solomon Griffin for Minnesota. 2,716 yards. And we in the Super Bowl. And we made it into the playoffs. Eight and eight. Uh, uh. And I'm, I'm now I just got to keep starting it over because the Ravens is hella good and I can't win. <laughs> you didn't play the same Super Bowl nine times? <laughs> Six. <laughs> Free start. I'm either, I'm either about, and I just said to myself, I'm going to go do the homies, I'm going to edit it, I'm going to come back down, I'm going to play a couple more times. If I really can't, first of all, uh, Kirk Cousins is a bum, dog. Like, I'm literally running the ball 36, 38 times a game, and he might throw for 37 yards or 56 <laughs> yards. Like, so I've been saying every time I'm like, come on, Cousins, help me out. But, yeah, my running back is sweet. You may want to go get your cousin from up the street to play. <laughs> yeah. I might want to do that. <laughs> On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we got to get ready, ready, Rob. Get ready to get up out of here, man. Uh, I hate the homies. Episode number 97 coming to a close. Rock TZ is who I be. It's your boy Griff, a.k.a. Mr. Go Blue, a.k.a. Raider Nation, a.k.a. Jason the Jet Terry, and I hate the homies. And it's your boy Super Dave. I don't have one thing to say. May the fourth be with you. Always. Hey, Super Dave's wife, he apologized earlier. You might sure want did. like at 21, 22 in the you might want to rewind it. And I never said again. That'll never happen again. <laughs> Doses! <laughs>